Hey Playdaters, welcome back to a brand new episode of Playdate. In today's episode, we're going to be tagging along with Rex Dulai, who's visiting one of the most popular coffee joints in all of Seattle called Coffeeholic. Let's go join him right now. There's freezing cold mornings, then you have heatwave afternoons. Summer's fine, but it only lasts a few measly weeks in the Pacific Northwest, then it's back to the rain. So what's my favorite season in the Pacific Northwest? Fall. It's the perfect time to really enjoy a cup of great coffee. Probably one of the best out there in my hometown, Yao's first Vietnamese-inspired coffee shop, Coffee Holic House. Coffee Holic House is the first Vietnamese-inspired coffee house in Seattle. They got their start in South Seattle in the hip, foodie-friendly neighborhood of Columbia City. Even in the midst of the pandemic, they were able to thrive by community support and serving one of the best Vietnamese coffees out there in the city. Today, we'll be sampling some of their most popular caffeinated treats in their second and latest location, the cozy yet bustling North Seattle neighborhood of Greenwood. Uh, so first off, we're gonna start off with the hot drinks. We got the most popular coffee holic dream. It's a Vietnamese coffee with uh, an salted cheese foam. And this one is the uh, Purple Haze. It's a ube latte. Ube, purple, delicious. Reminds me of my culture in the Philippines. Let's start with the Purple Haze. All right. Ube flavoring has really strong, in a good way, in a good way. Earthy, potatoey. Starchy. But what's really cool about this is it's not too sweet, which I really appreciate. All right, now this is the most popular drink. It's the Coffee Holic Dreams. Vietnamese co coffee with a salted uh, foam on top. Now we're gonna conquer this. All right, here we go. Mmm. I really like that blending of the salt and the coffee and you know, the sweetness of it. It matches. Oh my gosh, so perfectly well. So wonderful blending. And what's this on top? Forgive me if I have foam on my mouth, but it's when you have that saltiness and the sweetness, wonderful like merging of all these flavors, which I appreciate so much about the style of coffee. Not just like bitter and that's it. Then you have to just dump sugar and cream. It's like having the bitterness, the sweetness, the saltiness all interplay with each other to form wonderful combination that just works exquisitely well. Why well, you guys have to make do this is, is too tough to pick. Uh, I might as well flip a coin, but you know, if I absolutely had to, we're gonna go with the Purple Haze. I love Ube, love the starchy sweetness of Ube, and I'm more on the sweet side when it comes to my caffeine drink. I mean, I love this too, don't get me wrong. They're both amazing, but if I had to absolutely pick, we're going with the Purple Haze. I think what I appreciate about Coffee Holic is that they embrace their Vietnamese heritage, but are willing to take culinary risks and push coffee to the next level. They're willing to experiment with unique and unexpected ingredients while still keeping the flavors robust, but they also have spectacular options if you do have a sweet tooth. It's a beautiful thing to start your morning embracing both culture and bold flavor. Was prepared from a beverage made with love, perking up my day, and I appreciate that the caffeine flowing through my veins, care, and a willingness to share cultural roots. Thank you, or in Vietnamese, Dam An An, Coffee Holic House. May your espresso machines and coffee pots keep on brewing. May your mugs be full with your fantastic concoctions any season of the year. Rex, thank you so much. Man, those coffees look delish. Well, anyways, everybody, thank you for joining us in our episode. If you like this content, make sure you hit that like button as well as the subscribe button. And also follow us on all of the major social media platforms at Eagle News Live. Until next time, we'll always save you a seat on Plate Day. <laughs>